Do you know something chilling about organ transplants? Some patients reported memories that do not belong to them. The most disturbing case happened in 1990s America, when a woman received a new heart and new memories. Doctors could not explain it. Researchers called it cellular memory, and it became one of the most mysterious medical incidents ever recorded. 1995, Phoenix, Arizona. Claire Sylvia was 52 years old and fighting for her life. A rare lung and heart disease was killing her. Doctors told her a transplant was her only chance. She agreed. A helicopter arrived with a donor heart from a young man who died in a motorcycle crash. Claire did not know his name. She only knew she would live because he died. Three days after surgery, something strange began. Claire woke up craving food she never liked. Chicken nuggets, beer, green peppers. She was a healthy eater, a dancer, a woman who hated junk food, but now her body demanded it. Nurses laughed and said it was medication, but the cravings grew stronger every day. She even dreamed of a young man she had never met, wearing a motorcycle jacket, reaching out to her, whispering something she could not hear. Weeks later, Claire noticed new habits. She walked differently. She preferred different music. She sat with her leg up like a teenage boy. Friends told her she felt energetic, masculine. Claire felt like she was sharing her mind with someone else. A year later, she contacted the donor's family. Laws at that time allowed limited contact. The family agreed to meet. When the donor's mother opened the door, Claire froze. The boy in her dreams stood in pictures on the wall. He was 21 years old. His name was Tim. He died riding his motorcycle after buying chicken nuggets and beer. The receipt was still in his jacket when doctors found him. His favorite foods were exactly the cravings Claire developed after the transplant. The family cried when Claire told them about her dreams. She could describe things she had no way of knowing. His humor, the way he walked, even the places he loved. The mother said Claire sounded like a piece of my son living again. Claire did not want fame, but psychologists interviewed her for research, trying to understand why she changed. Some believed Claire's mind filled missing parts emotionally. Others believed cells can carry memory, like a hidden map of habits and preferences. Neurologists said memories live in the brain, not the heart. Surgeons said trauma can change personality, but they could not explain the details that matched exactly. Claire wrote a book, underwent studies, and her case was featured on major medical programs. Why did this happen? No one can answer. Scientists have theories. Emotional energy stored in neurons within the heart, subconscious adaptation, or a psychological merge between life and death. But nothing proves or disproves it. To this day, doctors admit the incident remains unexplained. Claire lived years with her new heart, always feeling a presence beside her. Not a ghost, but a memory that was not her.